if on I want to just go to the next point of how to uh the three things you can do in case coins is about to be listed. Uh, so I've the, sent it on our I've sent it on our platform. Oh thank you. I don't know what's also always wrong with my own um my own searching. Uh -huh. Thank you. So these are the coins. Ah oh luau. And I'm telling somebody to be trading this coin, VGX. Ah, and that man is not in this group. Oh, hey, I gave him to betray this coin. Ah, this coin too. I'm even in this coin. Yo. I'll go and leave this coin. Yo. See this coin. See this coin. I just entered it this evening. Yo. This coin, and I gave this coin to someone to be trading. You can imagine. And the person is in, in the, uh, and it's not here, Mr. Kusonya. And he came to my office on Thursday. You can imagine anybody that they want to release, release this coin. Oh, oh my God. Because the, I discovered that the coin was just going down, going down, going down. The coin was just going down. Uh, I must call him. Oh, you can imagine. Thank you for telling me, sharing this thing with me. Oh. This four, I just entered it this evening. Not that it will not sell. Oh. All this listed coin. They might still perform like when they. I think this coin, um, is it EPX? A day or two days after this announced that it's about to be delisted, that coin pumped 40%. So, people, you can it, it pumped. Ah, I must go and leave this coin for. I never knew that that coin is about to be delisted so that I will not go and get trapped. Please let me go and sell off that one. Please, I'm coming. Ah, that mice in that coin, oh, Mr. Kusonya. Oh my God. Is it is it is it VGX? I will confirm for him. VGX. And I'm going to go and enter. Yeah. No, I enter four. Yes, four. Ah, uh, I must leave that coin, please. Because that coin was giving me good. Ah, it has even sold, self. <laughs> you can imagine. Wow. <laughs> I not seen that. It has given six dollar. Are you seeing it? That same coin is about to be delisted because there is a new tactic that I just discovered in Royal Key, and that new indicators now. That was what I did to get this fifteen dollar. I traded how many? Two. Okay, two, three. Okay, three coins in a day, and they give me fifteen dollar because the Nino in the Nino strategy, the the Nino um two feature they put inside Royal Key. That's what I'm using now. I don't okay. know. I don't, I don't think I'll use today. I this new two that is here. Let me show you that too. That indicator. Yes. Powerful. Ah, you, need to, that... you need to you need to teach us, sir. I'm not doing it today. Of course, of course, no I'm not doing it. I might do it on Thursday. I said I want to test it first. Me, I like testing things mm. first. I said I want mm. to test it first. For like one week. I won't teach what I don't test, but yeah. I won't teach it. So after after it for like four days working. And I'm not saying too long. I saw the see, let me just show you. I've entered my interest. How much you know they don't no, no, take long go Zen, you know, take long before you deliver. I enter sweet, no take and bake, you know, take before you deliver. Then CRV, ILV, I don't see. I trade like um, six coins using that indicator. I hmm. seen it. Within, within, you know, I've told us in our training that if you can be, if you trade coin, more coins in a day, if you do your analysis very, very well, you make more profit faster. That stay in one coin that stay long. That's not my topic today. My topic is to do review of um of um coin that's about to be delisted. Now, anytime any of is about to be delisted, this power pool um EPX four. Okay, I know I was saying I want to go and. Sell of this four and it has already sold off already because 
Mm. I discovered that it had, was already on. Uh, it was already highly oversold. The RSI was very low, and the it, the candles are at the lowest bullion uh, band. So that's why it delivered very very far. I I saw that the RSI was very very low on fifteen minutes, and I discovered that on the fifteen minutes on the technical um, indicator, I was seeing strong buy. On one, I was seeing strong buy. If you combine those three things together, you won't stay long in the trade. I'm just try, trying it first before I teach us. I went to one live seminar. That's why it's good to, oh, that's why I keep on telling people, attend meetings, attend even, okay, you're not in Lagos. Attend Zoom meeting. I went to one seminar like that. And it was not the last two weeks, live seminar. I I, I knew that the real key, Nino real key features has been um, deployed on the app. But I never knew that below that chat, below any chat that you enter, yeah, if you enter mm. any chat, I never knew that below that chat, I never, I didn't scroll down that mm. these things are there. So, so when mm. I went to that seminar, that they told me, ah, have I seen this thing? This one, this one, yeah. I said, eh? I never knew that it was there. And I've always been using it, this um, indicator before. Like this indicator that this coin now, with what I'm seeing now, if you enter this coin now, it will deliver fast. What I'm seeing here, I'm just digressing. This coin will deliver fast. What I'm seeing here, from 15 minutes. 15 minutes, minutes one hour and four hours to uh, check it. Minutes. This coin will deliver fast. If you combine, if you com I'm digressing. I don't want to be digressing. Yeah, it's already neutral. It's coming. It's this clock is coming to like this place. It's coming to this buy strong buy. When there's a strong buy on fifteen minutes and one hour, and uh, you will see that the RSI is thirty nine. Second uh, is forty now. Then um, you can see that the coin is on a serious downward trend. It's already giving a confirmation bullish candle. Confirmation one, confirmation two. Then confirmation that that thing that the uh, indicator on this that is already already on the neutral, but the more the clock is moving to buy strong buy, enter that coin to deliver fast. It's my experience so far. Check, I'll give you check a, one hour. It might give you the indicator that you should um, enter the coin. Plus maybe MACD too would probably show that it's crossing from beneath. You know the moment you can combine three or four. Um, if you get three or four confirmation, mm. even whether you are using RSI, you are using MACD, you are using KD, is it KDJ? If you can just use any one of them and you can get confirmation like three of those indicators, you won't stay long in entry. So let me just go to anyone that's in having this issue of um equipment that's about to be listed. The first thing you need to do is that okay, you know, Binance is fond of delisting all these trading pair faster than other any other exchanges is binance they are one of the they they they, they always do these coins very fast but if you go and check this coin on coin market cap so you have two options if there's a coin that's about to be delisted on your trade the coin first crash like seriously so what you will do is that go to coin market cap Go to coin market cap. Go and search that coin on coin market cap, and check: is there any any other exchange where this coin is still being traded? CVP. What's the name of that coin? Uh, what's the name? And um, Power Pool. Okay, I'm Power Pool. Power Pool. Then I will click it. Then when I click it. I will not go to um market at the top. You know, I'll be able to see other exchanges that um I can trade this coin. You can see it's on, on gate IEO. It's on gate IEO. It's on gate IEO, it's on ATX, it's on Bing X, you know, and gate IE out point. So what you can do is that okay, if they want to delete this coin. And they discover that Binance is the exchange that always have the highest trading volume. Are you not seeing it? 
that this coin is having the highest trading volume on Binance, $4.23 million in 24 hours. Every other exchange, they have low volumes. See, GetIU is having 88, only 88 $88,352, followed by another one, HS Exchange, one right, 89,000. I can see that Binance has the highest volume. So people that always say, hey, I prefer using MXC. I prefer using um, Bybit. We always, tell, I always tell us that find your way to Binance. Because Binance has the high trading. Some people, they will never buy any coin until they sit on Binance. If it's not, because they have so much confidence in Binance. And I will tell them that you're already late to the party. Because if you are able to buy that coin earlier before it was even launched on any centralized exchange, these are people that make a uh, uh, um, powerful, uh, mind-blowing returns on any coin they buy very early before it enters any exchange. So we can see here that in case this coin is about to be delisted, look for any other exchange that you can send that coin to. You send the coin to that exchange and um, go and hold it there. That's the first option. The first option, you, you just go to React. You just, let's say that this is the coin that's about to be delisted because I'm trading one coin. This uh, Wi-Fi, that Wi-Fi, you know, just won't go up. That coin has gone down strongly by announcing the coin. It's down by minus two percent. Just a look and they look me. So what do you do if you want to, let's say that this is the coin that's about to be delisted. Just enter the coin in the middle, pause the coin, you disappear, you won't see it here. Then you now go to your exchange. You go to your exchange. I don't know whether this is my balance. Just go to the exchange where you are trading that coin. Then you can go and look for a good top 10 coins. A coin that is in the top 10, top 20 that are strong. Just look for any coin that has also crashed, maybe by minus 20% or by minus 40%. Let look for a coin that has really, really crashed. Just go and convert that coin. Let me just go here. This is now just go to the your exchange. Then go and the first option is that pause it on Royal Q, then come to your Binance. On your Binance, it's not the exchange I'm using without Wi-Fi. Just go to Binance on the home page. Click on this search icon as at the top. Okay, on Binance, when it loads finish at the top corner, I hope you saw what I did now. At the home page. At the home page. Okay, ah, it has opened though. It has opened, okay. So, after, uh, if I go to sports, you see the coin. That's the coin. The coin has depreciated in value from $240 to one and ten. Anytime people saw this kind of thing on their Binance, they will be panicking. How ah, my money is disappearing, you know? And, and, am I the one that caused it? Is it Binance that is the coin that is having uh, a lot of selling pressure? It will always come back later. And the worst scenario is that they will delete it. So if they want to delete it, after you have paused it, on your rear key, go back here, go at the top right hand corner, then type convert. Type convert, click on convert functions. Then before you do this, you will have, make sure that you have looked for a coin that has crashed. Don't go and swap your coin that has crashed to a coin that is pumping. That's a suicide mission. Go and look for a very good coin. Yeah. Look at the top 10, 20 coins. After I just make sure I look for a coin that has also crashed to so like 20%, minus 30%. Then go and swap it to those coins. So let's imagine I want to swap this coin to Dodge. To Dodge. Then I'll click max. I'll click max, then I will now click preview conversion. It will now swap my coin 
to the Dodge after I have analyzed the Dodge that it has crashed too. Because Dodge is a very, very good coin. It's a very good coin. So when the coin has crashed, that's the coin you should swap to. Don't go and swap to a coin that is pumping, please. Because you know your coin has already, that is my coin now, it has crashed to like um, minus um, $240 now. It's already $113. So if the value that I, the contour of those with, I swap to uh, Dodge, the value is to be showing the Dodge is 113 But when the coin now, I will now set it at maybe like, maybe like 35% or 113. Okay, I will just hold this coin. And wait till it does 35 percent. Then at least I will have got how much back 113 plus 39. Gradually, I'm getting close to my you have to be very, very patient to do this. Then I will not look for another coin again. When Dutch coin has already pumped, I will sell off. Then I will not look for another coin again that has already crashed too. I will always be waiting for any time the market crash. Especially when market crash, especially when Bitcoin does like minus four, minus five. Oh, it's a very good time. Go and look for another coin. Top coins, don't go and do all those funny, funny coins. So just go and look for, if I go to trading view, go to trading view, go and look for any coin that, because I listed those top 10 coins on my trading view. Or better still, Go to coin market cap if if you have not uh whitelisted your coins. Go to coin market cap. Download this coin market cap. Sign up on it. It will arrange all the top 10, 20 coins. Are you seeing it? Let me go back to the home page. So these are the top. I know seen that um the first coin is Bitcoin, Ethereum. Followed by BNB. BNB is a very good coin. If it, if BNB crash, enter it. Um, XRP, Ton. Ton is a very good coin too. Dodge, Ada, Avax, Shiba, and Hen. So all you just swap them to any of these top coins, like this coin. Let me align them. Even Bitcoin is so good. Bitcoin, Ethereum, BNB, Solana, very good coin. When that coin crash, it can recover back. It can recover back by 20%. XRP, um, Ton, Dodge, other. So, Shiba Inu, BC, Dot. Any of time you want to swap, just swap them to any of this coin. And when you take your profits, maybe 10, 20, sell off, then look for another coin that has crashed. That's how you recover your money. So, so that person that was just abusing me, causing me. I don't understand how people, human beings always behave. This person that is causing me, abusing me personally uh, in my DM, I have given him what he's supposed to do, but he refused to do what I told him to do. He didn't do it. But when I am, and I'm a very, very busy person, when I not have time to attend to him, and I still discretionary for him. And I told him, this one you want to sell, you are selling at a loss. And I told him to, okay, this coin is already down. They will soon delete it in a few days. Sell it to, sell it to USDT. And I told him to use it to buy Dodge. And I said, buy this Dodge <clears throat> at a very low value and put like 30% take profits. Gradually, he will recover his money back. But he just went about abusing and doing this, doing that. I told him that there is a solution to anything that happens to you. Me, myself, that I'm even coaching us, I know in my own Binance, I have two hundred forty dollars. That crash one thirty, it doesn't move me. Is it only the? Is it? Is it only um, that I'm making money? I have other things I'm doing that is any money. I'm not going to now. Uh, I see if it's, 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 it's the end of life. It every problem has a solution. I was telling him, but he refused to answer. So that's number one way of um. Uh, doing something about your coin that's about to be delisted, then, or you can decide to, when you have post the coin on RealQ, then go to any exchange where the coin is also, also listed, like I showed us, sign up on that exchange, 
then move your coin there. Like this, is my whiff. And if I go to buy bits, and I discover that on buy. What's going on? I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. Okay. Okay. So the next thing I was saying that he said that you sell off and the, the, the remaining USD balance that you have, go and look for a very good coin, buy when the coin has really crashed and take I take profit from it. Or you post the trade on RayaQ as I just showed us. Then, um, you know, some people don't even know how to sell. They know how to sell, to sell on Reaku. Let me show you. But that's what I always do to this, to this my trades. So all this trade that you saw that I, you know, let me look for another, all this trade that I, I, I always scalp. I don't wait for the bots to really take around. I will sell. I will sell. That's what I've been doing to all these accounts that is making them to be giving daily profit. So what you do if you are in a, trade that is about to be listed because some people don't know how to do this thing i want to show us and they will have simply ask is in front of them if you enter your trade click your trade in the middle tap it in the middle then you will see the sell button there is there is there this is itself then you know if i sell now i'll be incurring if i said i'll be incurring how much loss in current six dollar loss, so it's not the board that sold it. I'm the one that wants to click board and sell, click market price. The moment I click show, then I will be incurring. Not the board made it to, not the board made it to. Uh, in this, the board never sold it at the I'm the one that sold it. So if you want to now sell off any coin that's about to be listed, just click sell market price, then show. Then can I look for another coin, good coins. Then you need to buy another coin that has wait for when the market will crash. That's your strategy. Look for when the market everywhere will be so red. You are seeing minus 20, minus 30. Then go and look for a coin. Google coins, not all these funny, funny coins. I just recommended them. Go and buy them from down so that you can take like 20%. Then when another market crash occurs again, Enter that another coin that I cash by another by minus 10, minus 15, minus 20. That's your strategy. Enter, take like 20% profits or 10% or 15% profit. That's how you'll be able to recover your money back. That's a way out for every challenge. That's always a way out. Then, if you don't want to do that, use that strategy, then pause the trade on your on your on your real queue and go and swap it. I just showed us how you can swap on, on swap on Binance or after you have paused it on your real queue, if the coins on your Binance, let's say you want to send it to uh, where you can get the coin. Let's say some buy bits. I'll just open buy bits, knowing that Binance is about to delete that coin. Then what will I do? I will just go to Binance and buy bits. If I know it's on buy bits, I'll make sure that you are verified on that exchange. I'll click deposit. I'll click deposit crypto. I will not go up. I will search for with. With is not here. With is not here. Let me see the other exchange that I can see with. I will go to Coin Market Cap. I will search for with. With. Come. With. Dog with the ads. I'll go to market at the top. Where which exchange is this okay? It's on okay. Yeah, it's on buy bit now. Why am I not seeing it? And that's a very high trading volume 12.53. Okay, is it now? With okay, this is now. It's at the bottom. That's shown. Um, yeah, is it? I'll just click with. 
I will click. You can see that it is showing that make sure that the change type you are making deposit to two is the one you, you make withdrawal from. So that means I have to send it through Solana because WIF is a token that was created on Solana blockchain. So I will now copy the address. So make sure you know the network you need to withdraw, send it through, or the network you need to send it with. So I will now go to my Binance if I want to withdraw that with. So because if they want to be listed on Binance, I will now go to, where's my Binance? Okay, this is my Binance. So I will now click withdraw because I've copied the address by Bix. Then I will now click on spot up. Spot. I will now click deposit. No, I'll click withdraw. I'm withdrawing. Sorry. I'm withdrawing. I'm withdrawing from Binance. I will now search for the WIF. You can see that it's already by default on Solana blockchain network. I will now click it. No, I'm withdrawing now. Uh, no deposit, I'm withdrawing. With, I'm withdrawing. Uh, same via crypto network. I will now paste the address. The seminar I can send is um, 1.98 with. I'll click max. By default, it's already on Solana Network. By default, so they will charge me $1.53 worth of with. That's 0 0.99. Then I'll just withdraw. So now land to the other exchange where I want to go and put it in. They want to delist on um, my so that those are the three ways you can tackle the issue of uh, any coin that is about to be delisted. So there's always a way out, a way out. So if you have understood what I've said so far, please type five in the chat before I continue. I'm gonna I'm recording this session. Type five in the chat. I've given three uh, options. Type five in the chat. For and more people, I let them let them type. If they don't type, that means I didn't make any sense. I'm not, I'm not passing anything across. Type five in the chat if everything I've been saying so far, you understood it. If you don't type, that means I'm just wasting my time. What I'm saying does not make any sense to you. Hello, sir. I understood it. But the question is, I want you not get to other exchange. How do you keep money through? Because if my Royaku is not connected to uh by bit for instance uh that means i will keep watching that uh wave on by bit until it gets it pumped before i can say right yes and uh, these other things you can do if you want to use royal key that's a very very cool question thank you for asking that question so what you can do is that if you pause the trade on real key like i just showed us now when you pause the trade on real queue, it will disappear. You won't see it again. I said that disappear. You won't see it on real queue again. So mm. what you now do that, um, um, and with the option I give to you, yeah, yes, the option sir. I give is an option of using binary directly because there is no way you can convert a trade on real queue to another trade with real queue bot. There is no feature yet, there yet where you can mm. swap. I think there was one time it was showing something like that. But I've been trying to look for it, I can't get it. There's no way, there's no uh, any means of you doing that. So that's why the option I first talked about was selling that coin off to USDT. Selling it off to USDT, incur the loss. Then wait and look for a good coin that has crashed. Like Pepe Pe is a very good coin. Bonk is a good coin. Flocky, Dodge. One of those coins crashes and um, BNB. Um, which coin again like that? That's very good. Um, uh, Solana. 
when all those points crash like seriously by minus 20 percent oh my god go and take 20 percent so you'll be waiting for every market crash okay like i have 240 dollar i sold off by minus 52 percent i got 120 dollar the usc will now be in my binance because the cost about to be listed i will now keep them money my binance i will now wait until I see a very good market crash. Or if you can, if you don't even see any good market crash, anytime you see those coins I mentioned, you click the change here. I now see them that they have crashed like seriously. You can only see them most times when the market undergoes serious correction. When Bitcoin um, correct to save, you see those coins, they will go down by minus 20, minus 25. Go and put your money. I will even suggest. Put all those money uh, on the first buying amount. Just make sure on the first buying amount. That's what you do. You can divide the money into three. And uh, just come, three manually create. Then since you have one hundred dollar, you can just put um sixty dollar here first buy. Then second buy. And uh, make sure you use your strategy. Use your strategy. Change it to. Even your own case, you might even use your warehouse mode because you are holding. You are holding. I get him, sir. You are holding. Just use any strategy mode of your capital. You can even use your warehouse because you are buying to hold. So the moment you enter the coin, the coin, the bot first buy sixty dollar out of your capital on twenty remaining six dollar. So when the coin now goes down by like zero point three six, you buy another one. Then you will not change this place to like. 18 percent then if it does 18 percent it will give you what 21 dollar now the profit you have made it will add up to your capital 18 percent and it always happen after every market crash market will always come back and be monitoring it if you are okay with 12 percent take it get out then with another crash again so small, small like that. If you take twelve percent, uh, let's say fifteen percent of um, one twenty dollar, um, one twenty divided by eighteen, it will require you to do that about six or seven times to recover your capital back. Am I making a point? Yeah, you said the uh, the first uh, uh, right up. You, you, you posted on the platform that uh, after you have put your money on the whole warehouse mode and uh, also on Cycle. No, no, don't follow, uh, that don't follow that pattern. You can follow that pattern. Uh, you can do follow that one too. But this one I'm teaching, you we need to put the take profit at a very high percentage. Then we only go for first buying buying in amount, no, but not uh, not using the configuration. Is it true? That was I didn't hear that. That you only use you put that sixty thousand as your first buying in amount. Sixty dollar, sixty dollar, sixty dollar as your first buying in amount without configuration, and you start you off you off your your magical. Is it correct? No, 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 you are not finished. No, no, no. You see what I did here? All this, all this AMI gym for the first buying amount will be $60. Or you can even put all your capital ones bam into the mm -hmm. this can this, this putting high first buying amount works only more better when the market crash. Okay. I get it that because the market okay. will quickly pick up a day after. Or days okay. after, it won't be long before markets will recover. Anytime market crashes aggressively, massively, deep, massively, that's the best time to put higher first buying amount because market will quickly recover and you can set higher take profit percentage. Why I said that you should put sixty dollar as the first buying amount is that after the one thirty dollar, it will first take sixty dollar. Then when the coin just does small retrace by zero point three six percent. Here or by 0.4, it's a pick another 60 dollar. Then it has taken on your capital. Then 
Normally, if he even goes down a little bit, the bot will, will, will switch up the magic on by itself. Then he will not be waiting for this 18% to trigger to now sell off. So if you can be able to identify or enter into six, uh, and if you are even taking 12% on um, $120, mm -hmm. uh, that means if you can enter into like, you can see six market correction, you can recover your capital back, your initial capital back. Because 12% of 120 dollar that's 14.4 dollar. Now, since my coin crashed from by minus 50 percent, so for me to get the extra 120 dollar back, I will need to enter uh how many market? No. Wait, wait, wait. 12 percent of um 120 is 14.4. Okay, how many? Um, I'm going to divide it by 14.4. Okay. I want to enter coin that I have deep and go up to represent eight times for me to recover my capital back. Eight times. It can take one month, it can take two months, but it is achievable. I hope I'm clear. I hope I'm clear. But I believe the other one might be better. That uh, converting, converting to another coin. Uh, whichever way. Hey, it's all the same mm. thing. If you are converting mm. to another coin, that means you are not involving Royal Q. Yes. I have been watching. And, and when you send your money there and you don't trade with that money, I think that money not, it cannot depreciate. I said the market goes down for that. I, don't, I didn't get that. If you convert to another coin, or let's say on Binance, convert to another deep. coin, I think nothing, nothing will happen to the to your money there, except and when it goes, when it goes up, when it pump, you definitely say, even if that will be lost, just minimal, right? And when you, that's why I I suggested that endeavor. <laughs> Endeavor to make sure you uh, swap to a good coin number one. And when there's a stress market deep, then take 12%, 15% to take more profit. You know, you, if you don't know how to set, um, take profit on um, the exchange directly, you might not be able to know how to, unless you are watching by yourself. And when the market now pumps back, you have to go and say manually on the exchange yourself. But if you sold off to USDT in your exchange, that's when you can now use the Reaq board to buy, like the way I just explained now, and yeah. put a big profit where you want the board to sell off for you to yeah. turn your profit back in your Binance. Yeah. I think when we put it, sorry for the question, when you convert it to another coin on Binance, we don't need to trade there just to hold the coins there. So that you, we, are uh, you are buying to hold. You are buying to hold it in your exchange. Mm -hmm. So that when that are coin to... pumps, uh, then you just sell off. Yes, we're going to sell it off manually. Okay. Sir. I hope I'm clear. Okay, sir. Yes, sir. Then at I mean, Royal Q, you say you say you stop it at Royal Q or you pause. Which one? Stop. I, or... Before you convert it on Binance. Go and yes. post it first on Royal Key. Post it. Okay. Go to Binance, go and swap it, convert the coin to any coin you want to swap it to. Okay, sir. I hope I'm clear now. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Any other question? Any other question? Another question, because I think you have spent more about um, one hour now. Another question before we move to the next topic. I want to just briefly review um, the last two lessons that we did. Yeah. Wait, I'm not, I'm not trading, I beg. Let me check one. No. So in the last, 
two lessons. I think we did them um, how to use MACD indicator, uh, which I say if you want to enter any coin, you go for the highest negative coin. Then you go and look at the MACD indicator to see um, whether the two lines before they cross each other here, like this yellow one below the purple one, before it cross, identify that one first. And maybe on, uh, we, can see that, we can see that the moment these two lines cross, that was when the coin pump, I don't know since it's two big candles, it pump massively. So before it does that, you are not going to be using one day, you're using like 15 minutes and 30 minutes. If you're using 15 minutes or 30 minutes to do your analysis, that's what you do analysis. I see I've changed it to 15 minutes uh, time frame. That's where you are going to go and check whether there's going to be a crossing. Like this coin now, um, let me see. Okay. It's about to cross here too. It was very tiny. So the one you identify that you now go down to create, but it's already bought, click create, because you want the bot to buy for you. Only when there is a crossing, you go to three setting, then you click your strategy, uh, your three setting. When you pick it, let's use this one to like fifteen dollar, depending on your capital. Then you off the air margin call. Then you now come down to this place, to this um, where is it? Come advanced setting. Yes, you click on advanced setting down. Then you now go to where the road force by triggering condition, force by triggering condition. You now go to Mac D. So you want because you know the last training I said that there are two types of cross. We have the golden cross and the uh, dead cross. The golden cross is when the line below cross the one above. The one that's a golden cross, it signals that the coin might pump. But if there is a cross from up, up down, it's a dead cross, the coin will be dumping. So it means you can say by default, they put golden cross here. So you cannot decide that, okay, I want this board to take, start this trade when there's a golden cross, less than zero. You know, I told us in the last train that we have a line, an imaginary line called the zero line like this. And above the line, we'll see green, green uh, histogram. At the bottom, we'll see red, red histogram. At the top, green histogram. At the bottom, um, red histogram. This green histogram starts, uh, symbolize when the coin is pumping on the chart up. When it's going up, this red histogram shows when the coin is going down. So this imaginary line, you are saying that you want the ball to take to start this trade. If the cross occurs below the zero line, that's when we now put here less than zero. So the moment there's a golden cross less than zero below the zero line, that's when the ball will start. And it's a very good way to start because it can make your coin to start and give you good profit. You can even take like 4%. Or if you want it to sell very fast, you can put a lower take profit ratio. But if you want you to do the golden cross above, above this zero, uh, zero line, above, and that's where the pump occurs more, then you will change this one to greater than as it is now, greater than. Then just click save. Then change this one to submit return settlement. Sure. Then can now activate. I've done a video on this extensively on so my YouTube channel. This is just a review. And the other topic I treated was on RSI. I said that the important numbers in RSI, RSI is called relative strength index. It shows you when a coin is being oversold 
and when a coin is being overbought, it shows you that there's a region that will be showing in figure in a value. That when you see this value, it shows that this coin is going down, and that's the best time to enter. And when the value is approaching a certain percentage, which is 100, the more is getting close to 70, 80, don't enter that coin. But when the RSI is much, much more lower, like 35 below, best time to enter any coin. I can see here, this is the RSI. Let me clear this, please. Uh, let me clear. Let me clear this. Um, let me remove all this. Here. Let me remove it. I see it's blank now. So the RSI is this one. This one here. This one here. The lower the RSI, the lower the figure you see in the RSI here, the lower the value that it will show, the low, uh, the more oversold the coin is, and the best time to enter a coin. The lower the figure you see in the RSI, the more oversold the coin will be, and the more downtrend the coin will be, and the better time to enter a coin to take more profits. So if I click RSI, I can see that this RSI here, on the 15 minutes is 40. And I said that it's good to always enter a coin when the RSI here is like 40, 35 lower. It's more, the lower this value here, the better, the better. Because you are taking the coin, you are entering the trade at the bottom for it to go up. Let me look for another one. That's it. Ah, this is a no no for me. But the RSI here is showing 52, it's already in the mid. It's already in the middle. So let me look for another point. That has a lower RSI, um, FTM. Okay, this is still okay. It's showing 32. So I cannot go to create. I'll click next. Click to this setting. Choose my three setting, change it to swimming mode. I will not go down. So when I now get to advance, I will not click on force by triggering condition here as we are seeing it. I will not click here. I will not go for RSI. And I disclose that, that the RSI length is in, we have the three types. We have RSI 6, 12, 24. The RSI 6, measures the formation of CC candles and it gives you uh, the value faster than 12, that is moderate, 24, 12, 12 RSI length 12 uh, uh, give us the a value when 12 candles forms, when 12 candles form, but the, the, slow, the most slowest is uh, RSI 24, but we use RSI because if it is faster, it gives you a figure that you want. So the moment you come here, just leave it at RSI 6 one length. Change this one to less than, if you want the bot to buy when the RSI value, this is what we're after. If the RSI value is lower, that means when the coin has become cheaper, well, well, is lower. That means if you want the bot to take that coin, when the coin RSI, in the 15 minutes is below 20. That's when I want you to start your trade. And I must bet you, when the bot sees the opportunity to buy when this RSI is lower than 20, it will give you good profit. So if you want it to give you the trade to start when the RSI value is more than 20. So whatever information you give the bot, that is what it will follow. So when you now click save, Then you activate the bot will not start the trade. Make sure you off this air margin call. The bot will not start the trade immediately. You need to wait until the RSI is either less than 20 that you told it, or when it is um, more than the value it told you to enter, or if you want you to even follow the instruction of uh, when the coin is oversold, where is it? Uh, RSI, when it is uh, oversold. And that's when you want you to enter. Then 
any condition or something you give the board, that is when you have to pick the trade. And this thing, if, if the board follow this your instruction, the issue of staying in a coin for too long will not be there. This was a review of what I've trained uh, last week. The video is already on the YouTube channel. I did one last week, Sunday, and I did another one on, I know the coin is already pumping. Will I say I go into this coin? Check that means golden gap. Yaro yeah, Asta has passed, has passed 14. And um, but I'm seeing that green candy. The semi is I might not enter because if I want to even enter this coin at all, huh? You know, the other side is 45 years. I will just take like 1.5% to 1 deliver fast. That's the only condition that you should enter this coin when the other side is 44. Not that you can't enter this coin, yo, because for me, I'm seeing something that we might not be seeing. I'm seeing that this coin is on a downward trend here and it has touched the lowest polygon band and it has formed a very strong bullish candle. This coin will pump, it can pump more. It can. It has, if I don't even use all this RSI I'm teaching us, it's already on a over on a downward trend. It has formed a very bullish candle. And that can already form me. I can enter this quantity 1.5 percent. But on a 15 minutes, too. You can see uh, RSI is 50. It will go. I can take the risk. And the KDJ. I don't told us that one, of course, it's just that one later. This KDJ has crossed. This coin, I can take two percent for this coin. If you deliver, we we'll just follow what I'm teaching us. This is my own analysis. Don't let me confuse us. And no, I have different strategy that I can use to enter any coin. Don't let me confuse. I've done uh, much today. I don't want us to be overloaded with information. So I think I will teach us another um, strategy. Next week, uh, Sunday will be, I'll be teaching on KDJ. Next week, Sunday. If you want me to teach on the new technical director, um, I said director, the new technical indicator I'm using to enter trade and, and close fast. Like I show us here that um, I've, Enter like six coins within is it six coins in three days? I seen it on um on 16. Okay, this one this coin has been long. WRX you just doing sub so so you I enter I enter three coins sweet um big and zen. Using that indicator, I told us. And on 17, I enter CRV and ILF that deliver fast that, on that day. Then today, I've entered four, four only. And that one gave me um, six dollars. Because that's a new indicator I'm using. If you want to teach us on Tuesday, we come to so we come to the KDJ and the, that new no, technical I won't do, indicator. I won't, do, I won't do two. I won't do two. I will do only one. Okay. But if you want me to teach on this new strategy I just use for these trades here, if you have, if you be available on Tuesday, on okay. Tuesday, so, and we invite people. Some people might some people yeah. might forget. <laughs> okay, you don't want me to do it on that because, day. So your people might forget and because of uh, work schedule and the rest. So, so on Sunday, to... like the people will just think we just prepare that on uh, Sundays people don't go to work on Sunday and uh, Sunday is meant for technical. Uh, no problem. Let me let me keep let me keep the strategy to myself. Keep on applying it. It's more evidence. So I will use it as a bonus on um and let us look at this one. Okay, so. Let me enter this one. 
So any other question before we call it a night? Any other question?